Broadview senior Kate Erickson is in some rare air. On Tuesday night, Erickson moved into second on the program's all-time scoring list, which was good and bad for me. It's fun to watch, but now I'm third. And up next is Carrie Schaff's school record of 1,718 points, which has stood since 1981. And the last year when I hit 1,000 points, I was kind of like, oh, maybe that's, that's something that's realistic I could maybe beat. Erickson entered the season fifth on the school scoring list and over the course of this year and last has passed several players that he looked up to while growing up, something that he hasn't taken for granted. I think it's pretty cool. I grew up watching you guys and I looked up to all of them and it's just, I mean, it's pretty special to pass people you grew up watching and that were you looked at and you're like, wow, they're really good. I want to be like them someday. With 1,597 career points, Erickson is just 121 behind Schaff and can take the mantle at the District 5C tournament if he keeps up his current pace. He knows there's still plenty to write in the final chapter of his career, but both he and his teammates have already made big strides from the squad that won only three games his freshman year. We've come a long way since freshman year and we hope to keep that going. I mean, Coach Severance, he puts in so much time for us and he really cares about us. He comes out here all the time in the summer and just the commitment he gives to us, we, we just got to give it back to him. And Broadview's last two trips to the state tournament were both right here at Metro Park in 2009 and 2015. Metro Park plays host to this year's state seed tournament. Will history repeat itself yet again? In Billings, Alec Boffinger, MTN Sports.